Hello everyone, it's the first week of January 2016. This is my first proper day at home with everybody back at work and school. <laughs> doing their year round up and their news resolutions and goals and all those kind of things. Gosh, everybody's stepping up their game. Even Rosianna, I'll link her here, has gone all Casey Neistat. <laughs> everybody's up their game, their editing is just awesome and the pressure's on really because although YouTube is like a hobby for me, it's just it's not my main thing at all, having spent a couple of weeks with a major YouTuber on, ooh, who's that creaking in the door? Yeah, having spent the Christmas holidays with a YouTuber, i.e. Louis, he always links us all in the description and so suddenly you get a load more subscribers and then the next time you upload a video, unless it's quite good, you kind of lose them all and that's very <laughs> discouraging, even though, you know, this is not my main thing and, you know, really it shouldn't matter. I've got to stop saying you know. I already did a video that was like, oh, this is me, how I really am. No makeup and the kitchen a mess and everything. But you don't want to see that. <laughs> Especially after what the almost equatorial sun has done to my skin. This is not something you want to see. So I've invested in some special serum. I usually go for Nivea. Q10 anti wrinkle night cream and day cream, but I thought I'd up my game. <laughs> Try and do something about this. So I put my makeup on, I sorted out my roots as well. Got my eyebrows on fleek, but I feel more secure with the fringe. So I know some of you were saying, Oh, you look great with your hair swept back. Maybe I'll just get my fringe cut shorter. Anyway, that's for another time. So we had a really relaxing time away. I was surprised actually because I was expecting it to be a bit fraught with all the family all together. But it was so chilled and that was like a surprise. That was really good. And it felt rejuvenating and restoring and you know, all the things. Sitting by the pool with a cocktail, that was rather nice. Oh, it was totally island paradise, it really was. And I've never been in a five-star all-inclusive place before and I was thinking, oh, I'm going to feel really uncomfortable, I don't have a posh enough dress and all those sorts of things. But it was really quite earthy, so I felt like really relaxed. Right, now that that door has creaked open, you can hear the bird in full flow, so I'm going to have to close the door. It gets really talkative if he hears us in the kitchen talking or banging plates around. But anyway, we're back to reality. Back to life, back to reality. Ben's gone back to work. The other night over dinner, we kept putting his hands in his head. <laughs> and he had all these reports to do. He had a really chill time and I've got something to show you. Yeah, so they had this craft cabana and there was carving, so he's done a bit of carving. And we also did some batik paintings. He and I spent the morning doing that and we did them as presents for Darcy and she really liked them and she's hung them on her wall already. So that's really cool. But the guy in the craft shed doing the carving was saying, oh, I could sell that for you for 200 ringgits. And I could see Ben thinking, oh, I'll just retire here in Whittle Wood. And they had a piano there, so I could always do my jazz thing so we could escape to Island Paradise and I do a bit of jazz for the restaurant and him. Whittle wood. We can't really. <laughs> We've got all these responsibilities here. So, yeah, so back to life, back to responsibility, back to reality. It's taken a few days to get back into the time zone here. Uh, I thought I was going to do really well because usually coming back the other way, going east to west, you're much better. And I slept a lot on the plane, but the meal times were a bit weird. So I was aware that. I had gone for the equivalent of about, I don't know, 10 hours <laughs> without a proper meal. And then when we landed, I suddenly started feeling like dizzy and a bit sick and everything. And that lasted a few days. 
but I'm feeling good today. Although last night was the first night that I had a really proper good sleep. The night before the night before last, um, I woke up about half past one and I decided, usually if I wake in the night, I'll like watch some videos or read a book on my Kindle or something like that. But for some reason I just decided not to. And I don't have any unresolved things going on in my life at the moment, so nothing's ruminating. So there was just all these thoughts playing out. I was resting, but I wasn't quite kind of going into deep enough sleep to actually dream. But it was like my brain was doing all the same things that it usually does when you are dreaming, kind of sorting out thoughts and refiling them in other filing cabinets and that kind of thing. And so suddenly, as it opens a drawer and thinks, shall I put this thought in here or this experience, you see something from the past. And the other week, I met some friends that I used to be really, really close friends with uh, in my teens. And then we kind of saw them a bit when Ben and I got together and we got married. Um, but the strength of our friendship, really, I should have had them at our wedding. <laughs> so suddenly, in the middle of the night, I'm thinking, why didn't I have them at the wedding? But you know. I read this article the other week that was about not giving too much attention to your thoughts that you have first thing in the morning when you wake up because of your brain doing that. And oh yeah, it was on Facebook. And what has happened to Facebook? I used to look at Facebook just to catch up with what my friends are doing now. It looks like you're opening a newspaper and a magazine with loads of articles in. But it was a really good article. And I wish I had saved it. Because what always happens is I read something, I think, oh, that's interesting. And some things I think that's really interesting and really important. And I save it as a way of saving it, isn't there? But with other ones, I don't really register how important I think it is until I realise over the next couple of days, I'm thinking about it several times in the day. So I was going through Facebook thinking, who is it that posted that article? But anyway, the next night, it was half past three and it was similar and one of the things I was thinking was this is interesting watching my brain do this and then Wheezy Waiter's video for yesterday was about boredom and about some Danish philosopher go and watch his video it was very good and about exactly that that you need to have these kind of down times these kind of bored times uh, that you resist entertaining yourself so I was like you know, kind of trying to sleep, I was trying to sleep, um, and I resisted entertaining myself or distracting myself by reading or watching Netflix or something in the middle of the night. And it was doing exactly what Wheezy Waiter and um, this philosopher was talking about. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. But going back to the other article, it was saying don't give too much attention to some of the negative things that you feel when you wake up because of that and you need to kind of take charge of your own brain and tell it what's important and what's not. So there you go. But yeah, new year and I'm thinking, what is my life about? What is my life? What is it made up of? And I was thinking, I'm just gonna do all the things I need to do, get into my usual routine and wake up at six, which I've been doing and spend a bit of focus time do my do it list and do the washing and tidy up and take my dad out shopping and all the usual routine things. And Wheezy Waiter's video this morning is about routine. So thank you Wheezy Waiter. I'd like a video daily to confirm that what I'm doing is the right thing. And I don't really have any big plans for 2016 other than keeping going with the plans that I'm already working on. There's Last bit of 2015 was pretty good, getting things on track, and of course the very end of it was lovely, but the first half was pretty crappy. <laughs> yeah, probably one of the worst periods of my life, I think. <laughs> but yeah, definitely got better, and that's it, really. So I'm wondering if I ought to be thinking of things to say at the end of my video. I can't use, I don't know, it's graces already. The other day I was thinking, keep it real, but I've put my makeup on and done my roots and set up the lighting and tidied the kitchen. So that's not really how I really live. Yeah, I don't think I'm ever gonna be a super 
professional YouTuber, really. See you next time.